Uh, hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about the concept of slopes and intercepts. A uh, lot of time um, in the classes, we have uh, calculated slopes and intercepts and we really don't understand uh, the basics uh, meaning behind it. So I'll try to uh, start with a simple example here to explain what slope and intercept is all about and then we'll go to the higher advanced level. So let me begin. So suppose uh, I'll start with a simple equation that is y is equal to x. So if I have y axis and x axis and if I draw y is equal to x so it will look something like this right. So in that case uh, when y is 0 x is 0 when y is 1 x is 1 so uh, so this will this line will go from the center and uh, in that case the slope will be calculated as a coefficient of x and that will be equal to 1. So we are saying that uh, y do not scale with x. So if x is 1, y is also 1. So you all need to do is multiply whatever x is just multiply by 1. So we'll get y. Right. Now if we have another equation where y is equal to 2x and in this case um, when y uh, is equal to 0 then x is also 0 but when x is equal to 1 y will be 2 and then when x is equal to 3 y will be 6 so the line will be more steep and in that case we will say that the slope has increased because the line is more steeper now right so in that case the slope uh, will be uh, Again, it will be the coefficient of x, but the slope will be 2 here. So, we will say that higher slope means the line is more steep. Same way, if we have a y is equal to x by 5, in that case, the equation will look something or the line will look something like this. That when x is 0, y is 0, but when x is 1 y is only 0.2 so it will be here and here and here here so it will increase very uh, low so the y will be a bar increase in y will be very less as compared to x so that we will say that the slope is not that high or the y do not scale with x so if you increase x a lot then you see a very small increase in case in the y so this is what we call the slope is very less so the slope in this case will be equal to 1 divided by 5 so whenever you see a equation then you can so suppose uh, if i have a equation uh, like uh, uh, so now let's say y is equal to uh, a uh, x plus b then i'll say that the slope uh, is equal to a which suggests that when you change uh, x how does the y will change according to the x and in case of this equation b is only one addition so the b do not change with x so if you change x the influence or the change in y will depend on the value of a not b so in that case a is important part when it comes to the relation between y and x and that a also is called slope right however please remember uh, if you have some another equation like for example y is equal to uh, 4x square in that case uh, this concept will not apply because in that case the line is not do not have a single slope so if i draw this line then line will be something like this so in that case you can see that it's not linear so slope is changing at every point and slope value will change with x right so in that case we have to use differentiation to calculate the slope and uh, for that we do is uh, dy by dx is equal to uh, 8x and then dy by dx is the slope so 8x will be the slope and you can see that the slope is changing 
uh, with the value of x and it is not surprising because if you look at the line then the slope is changing with value of x so um, now instead of going into further details i'll now go to the concept of intercept so now what's the meaning of intercept so now let's uh, rewrite one of the equation so if uh, the equation is uh, y is equal to uh, a x plus b so in that case if uh, we try to draw this equation will look something like this where this portion is called b and this is y and this is x right. and the slope of this line is a so um, as you can see that even if x is equal to 0 y is equal to b so now here if i see that if x is 0 then y is b right and then if as x increases then y will increase according to the slope a right so so as obvious from the name itself intercept is the point at which the line is intersecting or intercepting the axis so in that case if i ask now what is the intercept uh, of this line on y axis then uh, on y axis we know so at uh, y axis x is equal to 0 right so in that case to calculate the intercept on y axis all i need to do is put x is equal to 0 so y will be equal to b so this is the intercept on y axis and you can see that the line is intersecting at y axis at, at b right however if i have to calculate at x axis then i'll say at x axis y is equal to 0 right so if i have to see so now let me extend the x axis in this direction so if i have to calculate the value uh, where the line intercepts the x axis so at this point y will be 0 so for y to be 0 what should be the x so in that case i'll say uh, 0 is equal to a x plus b and therefore x is equal to minus b by a yes you can see that the intercept will be on the negative x so this is a minus b by a so this is how you calculate the intercept both on the x axis and y axis the same concept can also be applied for more complex or quadratic equations so like suppose if i have uh, y is equal to uh, 4x square plus uh, 1 right so in that case y uh, if you put y is equal to 0 then x will be equal to uh, 1 minus 1 by uh, 2 and under root so what does it mean is that uh, uh, because this is a complex number that means there is this line do not intersect the y uh, the x axis because the y is zero so there is uh, if you try to draw this line on on a graph then this line will not intercept so this means no intercept Now, if we draw, say x is equal to 0, then it will be equal to uh, y is equal to 1. So, intercept on y or intercept on the x axis will be 1. So, if I try to draw this line, this line will look like this or this equation will look something like this. 
so you can see that uh, this will be equal to 1 and uh, and then this line do not cross any of the x axis so you can't uh, have an intercept on the uh, x axis but you have an intercept on the y axis and that is equal to 1 so this is how we calculate the intercepts and uh, i hope this tutorial helped and i'll see you again in the next tutorial thank you